With most manufacturing companies focusing only on the safer four-wheel electric vehicles, only Arkimoto has dared to leap. It has introduced three-wheel commuters that cater to all your transportation needs. Want to see how these revolutionary vehicles look and function? Keep watching the video as we unveil two of these EV commuter models. The main goal Arkimoto had in mind when making these three-wheelers was to hasten the transition away from polluters that are too big for the roads and cost too much money. These same vehicles are also responsible for suffocating our planet and roadways. So, to move towards a more environmentally friendly transportation system consisting of right-sized, ultra-efficient electric vehicles that everyone can afford, the commuters were made a reality. As commuters are not very common right now, we cannot say for sure how much the company has succeeded in its mission. But despite this, one thing is certain. These revolutionary and miniature vehicles go beyond your expectations regarding quality and features. On the outside, the EVs can be best described as auto cycles or a car slash motorcycle hybrid. When you ride the motorbike, you may or may not need a motorcycle license or a helmet, depending on the state in which you reside. However, we always advise you wear protective gear, as safety should be your priority. The Arkimoto FUV, which stands for Fun Utility Vehicle, has the appearance of a motorcycle or quad rather than a traditional automobile. It has tandem seats, a semi-enclosed cabin, and handlebars that have power assistance built into them. It is supported by a single-speed automatic transmission and a battery pack that is 20 kilowatts per hour in capacity in addition to the two front-mounted motors that provide a combined 77 horsepower. When driven on surface streets, the FUV, which weighs roughly 1,300 pounds, has the sensation of being speedy. Arkimoto asserts that it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds. Level 2 and Level 1 chargers are compatible with the electric vehicle's charging system. According to Arkimoto, it can be charged from nearly empty to full in at least 4 hours when using a Level 2 charger. Still, it will take at least 8 hours when connected to a typical household outlet that operates at 120 volts. For how much you can get out of a single charge, the manufacturer proudly claims that the FUV can travel up to 100 miles around town, or 66 miles at a speed of up to 55 miles per hour, and approximately 32 miles at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. The information that the battery percentage indicator shows can be used to track how much further you can go without being stranded mid-street. It is pretty accurate, unlike most cheap EVs. If you have prior experience riding an ATV, controls for the FUV will come naturally to you. A kill switch, a brake lever, and a twisted grip throttle are all located on the handlebar's right side, while the mechanical brake pedal is located on the right of your foot. Because the handlebars are sensitive, slicing through traffic and traveling through congested areas should be easy. On your left side, however, you get the controls for the brights, hazards, and turning signals. Also, the panel between the knees provides access to the controls for a few other functions, including heated handle grips, seats, and windshield wipers. All these things apart, the EV can also feature, on your demand, some common customer-oriented accessories such as cup holders, lockable rear storage, a phone mount, and West Coast half doors. I think this information is enough for the FUV. Let's jump to the other commuter now, the Roadster. Arkimoto has now introduced a new open-top version of its fun utility vehicle, FUV, which they have dubbed the Arkimoto Roadster. As if the FUV wasn't already entertaining enough on its own, the Roadster takes the experience to another level. As the Roadster is constructed on the same platform as the FUV, it utilizes the same three-wheel Delta Trike configuration, comprising a pair of front wheels. But, because of how the vehicle's dual front wheels are configured, its level of stability is increased and its handling is more analogous to that of a typical motorbike. It is also no slack either when it comes to speed. With a city range of 102 miles, the Roadster can accelerate to an impressive 75 miles per hour. But, unlike its sibling, which features a semi-enclosed design and a roll cage that allows riders to escape wearing a helmet legally, the Roadster lacks a roof of any kind. That means that, in some instances, it can prove to be more dangerous. 
Despite all these utilities and features, in the United States, selling these three-wheeled cars will prove difficult. The basic reason is the high asking price. The Arkimoto FUV begins at $18,300 before any available state tax rebates or incentives are taken into account, while the Roadster comes out to around $23,900. On the other hand, cheap EVs like the Nissan Lee are comparatively not much more expensive and offer way more features, making them a better choice for your household. The verdict is that while the commuters may be good for fun and everything, they are nowhere near as practical as your traditional cars. So, unless Arkimoto manages to bring the price of its products down, people may not want to embrace them. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and share so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time!